Why Mayor Rick Goldring? And there's so much happening in the city of Burlington right now in the spring of uh, 2018. I decided to do a, a video newsletter. So Burlington City Council approved a new official plan or adopted a new official plan uh, on Thursday, April the 26th. And it does have to go to the region of Halton for final approval. But we've been working on this for seven years and the last two years in particular. Uh, it was a long, long, long process and we heard from many different delegations uh, in the community, uh, many people with a wide variety of, of perspectives and opinions and I firmly believe that we've settled in a good spot. So the adoption of the new official plan uh, really gives Burlington a clear direction about where we want to grow. We've identified the 50% of Burlington in the north part of the city we want to protect. Uh, from development and maintain a natural heritage system and the Niagara Escarpment and the unique hamlets and villages that we have in North Burlington. Uh, we want to uh, make sure that the 34% of our land is, is stable but not static neighborhoods and 11% of our employment land is protected, focusing our growth primarily in the areas around downtown, uptown, and the Appleby, Aldershot, and Burlington GO stations. That's the focus for our growth going forward. We know we're not, we have to continue to grow. Burlington in the last census two years ago was 183,000 people. Have we just assume a 1% growth rate going forward? By 2041, we will be 241,000 uh, people. And we need to plan for that. So as much as, much as I talked about the area-specific plans, we need transportation plans and transit plans and cycling plans and servicing plans, infrastructure plans. We need parks and recreation plans to develop more services and more amenities as we grow for the people in the new neighborhoods that I referenced. I want to make sure that residents who are interested continue to get involved and attend all the meetings and provide input into the development of the area specific plans as well as the zoning bylaw. It's critically important that we get this right. So I encourage people that want to be on the email list from the City of Burlington to, uh, to email mobilityhubs at burlington.ca for more information about the development of the area specific plans. I also want to encourage people to check out the website growbold.ca. Uh, for more information on a regular basis. You know, recognizing that the city is going to continue to grow, we're going to add more population, we're going to add more jobs, and developing a, a more meaningful transit plan uh, is, is critically important to the city. Uh, in the short term, uh, we're focusing on tweaking and improving operational deficiencies. Uh, over time, we will implement a frequent transit network of 15-minute service all day on some of the key routes in the city. Currently, 80% of our ridership is on 50% of our routes. And we need to look at enhancing the coverage on the most popular routes. We need to look at facilitating options for people to be connected to the main routes from inside their, uh, uh, their neighborhoods. And we're looking at alternatives that can bring people uh, to those major arterial routes so they can move much quicker throughout the city. So another great initiative is that Presto cards will be available uh, to purchase as well as to charge. Uh, throughout a number of shoppers drug marts within the city. So we're making it easier and more accessible for people to have access to, to Presto cards. So from an economic development front, there's all sorts of things, great things happening in the city of Burlington. Right now, the city of Burlington has 60,000 square feet of shared office space, which 100, 140 desks, which gives younger entrepreneurial led companies the opportunity uh, to be housed and, and experience the synergies that exist when you're part of a group of a number of different companies. So currently Burlington is experiencing a institutional, commercial, industrial boom with a number of new office and industrial spaces being built in 2018. And one example of this is the Hopewell Development's construction of a new 43,000 square foot flex office development followed by the development of a 72,000 square foot industrial facility at the corner of Walker's Line and North Service Road. Of course, one of the highlights of the summer is the Sound of Music Festival, which takes place on Father's Day weekend and the weekend, weekend preceding Father's Day weekend. And there's actually 125 different musical acts over, over nine days. The downtown comes alive, and there's all sorts of different uh, genres for every particular musical interest. And of course, there's the, the Grand Festival Parade on Saturday, June the 16th, featuring our own Burlington Teen Tour band and a number of other marching bands. So for the first time, Burlington is involved in the 100 in One Day initiative, which really is a global initiative uh, to encourage people to do great things in their community on Saturday, June the 2nd. 
And we're going to be one of 13 communities across the country encouraging people to plant trees and plant flowers and to have a, have a street party, all to bring different aspects of the community together and celebrate what it means to be part of the city of Burlington. I encourage you to go to the website for more information, 101day.ca. Thanks for tuning in. You can clearly see this is a great time of year. We, we know we're going to have a great summer. And I encourage you to get involved in everything the city has to offer. And if you have any questions for me, mayor at burlington.ca uh, or through my social media uh, channels, or you can even phone at 905-335-7607. Thanks for tuning in.